Java lovers. Hi and good morning to you. For us it's currently Monday morning and this morning we actually left the city of Gdansk. Very sad. Um, very sad. We really hope to come back there one day for sure. Yeah? Absolutely. So if you're curious to see what we got up to in Gdansk, uh, you can click on one of these cards here and you can definitely check it out. So this morning we woke up super early. I think it was around 5 o'clock in the morning which is not Savage. normal for us. And uh, we actually caught a bus. It's a Flix bus to Toron. And that's where we are right now. It was super duper easy to get here. I think it only took us about two hours. If you guys find yourselves in Europe, you can try and use Flix bus and you can book your tickets online. Obviously, we're not sponsored by them or anything like that. We just find them to be very, very convenient. We are already used them before, like in Bulgaria yeah. and uh, Hungary, I think. So we're only in the city for about six hours. As we're passing through to get to Poznan, mm -hmm. um, we're going to be in Poznan later on this evening. Mm -hmm. So when we arrived at the bus station, we actually put in our bags into these lockers and it was very cheap. I think it was about three pounds. Again, I'm going to put the USD equivalent down below. It's so, so tip. convenient. So we don't have to drag all of these bags together with us whilst exploring the cities. And True. Yeah. And plus today is insanely rainy. Yeah. It's actually disgusting. That's why we're um, hiding in the coffee shop. Yeah. We're kind of upset that it's so miserable out there because we know that Toron is supposed to be really, really beautiful. I think Misha read somewhere that Toron is actually one of the seven wonders of Poland. Yeah. And it's actually the oldest town or a city, I should say, in Poland. Yes? Yeah, one of the oldest. Mm -hmm. I think it was established in the 8th century. Wow. So that's pretty damn pretty old. Pretty old, yeah. yeah. And what else is Toron famous for? So it's famous for for its gingerbread, mm -hmm. there's a museum here, and it's also famous for Copernicus. Oh yeah, so the astronomer, astronomer Copernicus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's quite a few things going on here. There's even a leaning tower of Tehran. So we just got our laptops ready. I think we're gonna do some work. There's always something going on for us, and yeah. uh, hopefully this rain will actually pass uh, because I'm excited to explore Tehran. <laughs> So guys, we resorted to buying an umbrella because it's the only way to get around the city today, isn't it? Yeah. It looks nice. I mean, whatever you can see. Yeah, <laughs> nice cute streets. Looks like most things are located in this bottom section here. We're currently here. Just about to enter. I think the orange means old town. So Justina's protecting me from the weather <laughs> so that I can give a little fact about this donkey. So this gold cute little donkey here actually used to be a wooden donkey and back in the 1600s there used to be criminals literally put over the donkey and whipped. So it wasn't very nice. I don't know why it's gold now. It looks so nice and um, cute but it doesn't have a very cute history at all. Justina, get over it. Here's a statue of Copernicus right in the centre of this market square. Yeah, it looks quite nice here, honestly. Very good. This is to run on a good day <laughs> when it's nice and sunny. So as we mentioned before, Taran is actually famous for its gingerbread. It actually dates back to 1,000 years, so it's been a long time since gingerbread become popular here in the city. So I think we should try this and see how it tastes. Uh-huh. Three, two, one. <laughs> All in one. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. At first it was a bit hard, but once yeah. you bite into it, it's pretty soft. Uh-huh. I think it would be really nice with some tea. Yeah, it tastes like gingerbread. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, guys, this is one of the hardest videos I've ever had to make because it's so bloody rainy. Yeah. So this place that we went into is called Copernica. Mm-hmm. I said Copernica, which doesn't sound right at all. <laughs> so let me try this um, paniki, which is the gingerbread. Mmm. Nice. Mmm, it's nice. It's, it's um quite light, isn't mm -hmm. it? 
Mm. Some gingerbread you have it and it's really hard, but yeah. this is like quite soft in the middle. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, it's good. More? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Approved. Yeah, it's got a museum. Oh yeah, and you can go and make mm -hmm. gingerbread. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, like minutes. Two minutes. All right. Thank you so much. And if we were here for longer, guys, there's actually some uh, gingerbread workshops you can go to where you can make your own gingerbread. So uh, yeah, that would be interesting. So. If anyone out there is thinking of coming to Tehran and a nice sunny day and you've got some time, make sure to go to a gingerbread workshop. <music> Guys, behind me and a little bit up, is the Leaning Tower of Tehran. And the reason why it's leaning is because originally it was built on sandy soil. So eventually over time, the building started to shift position. So now the building is actually slanted at around 1.5 meters from its original location. Back in the day, it was actually the city's main defense and then it turned into a women's prison and now it's a cultural center and I think there's a cafe inside as well. So it has a lot of history, but it's kind of just cool in itself. Look, it's so slanty. Whoa. And fun fact guys, we actually visited the Leaning Tower of Pisa back in 2016, wasn't it Justine? Yeah. And there's actually a video that I want to share down below in the description box. It's when we went to Italy and it was a nice little montage of us before we even started YouTube. Go check it out. So I'm sitting on the doorstep where Copernicus was actually born. So he was born in Tehran and he's a famous astrologer. So Copernicus actually become famous because he was the first person that actually stated that the sun is the center of the universe. So that the earth and all the other planets actually rotate around the sun and not the other way around. So the place that I'm sitting is not only his birthplace, but also a museum. However, it's closed on Monday, so we cannot go inside. But even though the museum's closed, we have learned a lot about Copernicus astrology, the world, the solar system, and I even found out that back in the days there was this guy that got murdered for believing that the earth was round. Poor guy. What about Florin? How many people live here? Two thousand. Wow. So guys, it's actually been about three days since we left Tehran. True. And uh, we're very bad travel vloggers. We are very bad. We don't do our endings on the same day. <laughs> But I don't know if that's actually a rule. So I think the last moment that you saw in the video was us with a stranger. <laughs> now, who was that stranger? So we actually met up with one of my students from my talkie, and uh, he happened to live in Tehran. And uh, he said, yeah, Justina, you're in Poland, we have to meet. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's actually been one of my first students when I just started teaching on italki. So that was insane. I think we've been seeing each other on Skype for over a year now. Wow. And uh, we finally met in person for the first time. And in fact, we had such a lovely evening with Robert, that's his name. He actually took us for some Polish uh, soup. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, that was really nice. He also gave us some gingerbread cookies. Yeah. yeah. In fact, I already <laughs> devoured <laughs> my portion. Your portion, my which portion. is literally three quarters of the box. <laughs> Misha hasn't even tried hers. No, so. I'm going to try it now. Yeah. So, um, so these gingerbreads are actually from Tehran. Mm -hmm. So it's like a speciality, as you saw earlier in the video. Yeah. But these ones are covered in chocolate. And look at this. This is gorgeous. Such a nice box. Mmm. Mmm. It's nice. That's really good. It's soft inside, isn't it? I was expecting it to be harder again. Mm. But yeah, the gingerbread from Tehran is quite soft, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it mm. is. It's lovely. I wish I had a cup of tea. Yeah, I was gonna say it's really nice with a cup of tea. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. So thanks, Robert, if you're watching. Probably not. <laughs> For me, never having met Robert, mm -hmm. um, my heart was melting. Yeah. <laughs> because he was so appreciative of you teaching him English. Yeah, he was. For him, it meant so much to meet you. Mm -hmm. um, he just passed his English certificate. Yeah. Uh, with flying colors and he wrote to you straight away and yeah. said thank you Justina for helping me yeah, and uh, it's moments like that which make me feel like all warm inside yeah. 
yeah. even though I haven't done anything, yeah. just to observe it was like, wow, <laughs> yeah. you should be proud. Yeah, thank you. No, it was really, really nice. And uh, yeah, even today we had a lesson with him and he said, oh my God, like, I am so grateful that I, I managed to meet you, like seriously. Yeah. That actually made his day. So overall, we found Tehran to be really nice, cute city, very easy to walk around. Even though we haven't had the best weather, we still managed to enjoy the day, yes? Absolutely. And what did you say about the medieval stuff? It's one of the medieval towns of oh, Poland. Okay. It's actually a UNESCO heritage site and it kind of reminds me of York yeah. in the yeah. UK. It's kind of got this walled city kind of True. vibe. All the buildings are quite True. obviously old and it just feels really nice. Yeah. So, um, it's a shame that we only got one day, but I think it's good that we even saw it. Exactly. We were going to miss it completely. Yeah, yeah. So it was good that we even got to see Absolutely. it. Absolutely. We highly recommend going to Tehran, guys, just for a day. Mm -hmm. Why not? Mm -hmm. But I think it's time to end this video because it's probably getting really long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're going to say goodbye, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like it, share with your friends, and as always, cheers to freedom. Woo!